Hey everyone, Panem here again, and today we will be continuing the Speed Duel mini series of openings. Today we'll be opening Speed Duel Attack from the Deep booster box. Uh, first time opening a full booster box of this. Uh, we've opened 18 packs in a video previously, but at that time I didn't know yet if I was going to play Speed Duels or not. Uh, I did find people around me who were somewhat interested, and so this series saw the day, uh, the light of day. Um, basically, trying to acquire a lot of cards so that friends around me will not need to invest in this game to play with me. So, uh, yeah, the cards will always belong to me, but at least I'll get to use them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this is also a very fun set to open for old school players because it has a lot of old school cards. It has some reprints of new cards as well, but the old school cards are very sought after. And so we'll start opening right away. Uh, what we will be looking for today is, um, I guess, Magician of Faith would be interesting, but probably more uh, Apprentice, uh, Apprentice Magician, something, something like that. And uh, probably um, the um, Sonic Bird, no wait, not Sonic Bird, the Rocket Bird, something like that. Anyways, the, the eagle looking guy. Oh, this is also something I wanted to get more. Moray of Greed, nice. But the uh, eagle looking, uh, Booster Eagle, that's the one. Uh, Booster Eagle is something I do want to get from this opening because that is good for ritual decks and I do want to play rituals in a slow speed duel format. Uh, Magical Undertaker, Mystical... Oh, our first foil is a fusion monster, Ryu Senshi, or Ryu Senshi. We have a need of Warrior Day Greffer and Spirit Ryu. A fusion summon this card can only be done with the above materials. When a normal trap card is activated, quick effect, you can pay a thousand to negate it. Uh, this card must be face up on the field to resolve that. Negate the effect of any spell card that targets this card and destroy it. That is decent, actually. Very decent. So it can't be targeted by spell cards, whether it be yours or your opponent's. And you can pay life points to negate traps. Not bad. Not one of the supers we were hoping for, but we will take it. Nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, other good stuff from this set would be um, this guy right here, but we've already pulled that guy in our 18-pack opening, and here we have him again. <laughs> Speak of the Devil, Blade Knight! Uh, decent card overall, uh, not necessarily the best, but I do love this card because of GOAT format, in which a Warrior Light was very, very de decent. I mean... You could use it for your Chaos decks, and it was a searchable guy, and if you had no cards in your hand, it gained 400 attack. Uh, or one or fewer cards in your hand, actually. It gains 400 attack. And if you control no other monsters, the effect of flip effect monsters destroyed by battle with this card are negated. So that is also very good against, you've guessed it, Apprentice Magician, and Magician of Faith, and... Uh, uh, well, there were a lot of other uh, flip effects back in the days, like Maneater Bug, you had Mask of Darkness, you had Old old Vindictive Magician, you had so many other very mean flip effects from GOAT format. But in Speed Duel format, it's mostly for the two first ones I've mentioned. Big Wave, Small Wave. We have a lot of water monsters in this set, which is kind of cool. Honestly, water represents... Uh, Moray of Greed is just a very long overdue reprint that I just want to get more of because it was not an easy card to get. Umi and Axe Raider. It is not Warrior Digreffer, so we still can't make our Ryu Senshi. I'll try to see if we can actually get the cards needed for it in this opening. That would be cool. Amazonist Trainee. Goblin Zombie and Mask of the Accursed. This will be a very interesting card in Speed Duel because the equipped monster cannot attack and once per turn during your standby phase, inflict 500 damage to your controller of the equipped monster. This will be very relevant in Speed Duels. Believe me guys, because if your opponent tributes summons something big or fusion summons something big, they will want to be able to use it and not tribute it, because usually in speed duels you'll have like 2 or 3 cards that need tribute summons overall, because you only have 20 cards in your deck. And so if you block one, and they don't draw the other one, they or if they already used the other one, they might be screwed <laughs> at that point. And they will just lose 500 every turn and not be able to attack. So you know, that's kind of very mean actually. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Uh... Yeah, so let's try to actually get our cards to make Ryu Senshi. 
Sinister Serpent, love this card, gonna be cool. Goblin Zombie, love the zombie support in this set as well. Pyramid of Wanders with zombies is very nice. There's also a zombie skill that allows them to uh, gain a counter every turn and your, zombie is, uh, your zombies gain 100 attack for each counter on the skill card. So you know, they get boosted very fast. If you consider the skill card with Pyramid of Wanders, basically you get like three or 400 attack on the first turn they're summoned and you do have some zombies with 1600 so they're almost at 2000 attack when summoned, which is kind of very good actually. And you have some very decent zombie effects like Goblin Zombie, which searches and or mills. And uh, you have um, you have a lot of dif different options for zombies. They're not that great yet because they don't have a boss monster, but they still have some very decent stuff. Oh, another ultra, the Forceful Checkpoint. Don't remember what this does. Uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, Look at your opponent's hand, and if there is a monster card, negate the attack, then discard one monster from your uh, from their hand. Your choice. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. So if they attack you while they have a monster in their hand, you get to negate the attack, and they lose that monster. Interesting. Actually, very interesting. I might actually use this at some point. I'm not sure, but I might. I might. I do like my Mask of the Accursed, though. And I prefer them not being able to attack at all. Power of Kaishin. Great Phantom Thief. Warrior Digreffer to make our Re Ryu Senshi. And a Fisherman Boy. Still, two Ultras and one Super on this side. We're off to a pretty good start. I would expect maybe two more Supers. Emigrate and Sword of Dark Destruction. Equip only to a Dark Monster, gains 400 attack and loses 200 defense. Interesting card. It's a very old card, actually. I think it was in the original Yugi starter deck. Yeah, I think it was. Dweller in the Depths, Jin, Big Wave, and Fusion Recovery, so you can recycle your polymerization and a material. And we'll keep going until we get the goods. Murray of Greed, nice. High Tide and Kaishin, which are basically very good together, honestly. But, you know, let's just keep going. Okay, come on, Booster Eagle. I think it's an Ultra in this set, which is kind of harsh. Pyramid of Wanders, Sinister Serpent. Okay, Wanders is just a wonderful card for zombies, guys. I am a big zombie fan, so I just gotta show you guys this. All zombie monsters you control gain 200 attack for each monster your opponent controls. If they have two, they gain 400 attack, which is insane. Uh, in this format, at least. If exactly one zombie monster you control and no other cards will be destroyed, this also includes battle, you can send this card to the graveyard instead, so it helps you protect yourself as well if you want to tribute summon something eventually. Or just, you know, protect yourself from two attacks instead of one. Zombies have multiple effects, or uses. Warrior Elimination, Fulfillment, Arcane, and Zombina! A zombie card that is a foil. And it's a beautiful one. Look at that. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can target a level 4 lower monster in your graveyard except Zombina and Special Summon it. Very meta relevant because most monsters are going to be level 4 or lower. And this is when it's destroyed by an opponent's card. So battle or effect both work. Using this in a uh, basically any deck, really, should prove useful at least at a, uh, one or two copies per deck. So that's kind of cool. We're almost done with this side, and we probably will have a foil in the last pack of the side. Come on, super rare goodies. Super rare goodies. Theban Nightmare. Nope, no super rare goodies. Still, two ultras, two supers, one side. I consider that pretty decent. Pretty decent. But we still want our eagle. Okay, wait, are we still missing Spirit Ryu? Why didn't, why haven't I seen it yet? Am I blind? Did we open it and I just didn't realize it? Or is it a foil? Oh, Sonic Bird, yes! That is something I wanted, good, 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 good. Sonic Bird. When this card is normal, a flip summon, you can add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand. The previous set had Senju of the Thousand Hands, which basically added a monster a ritual monster, and this adds the ritual spell. So having both of these in the deck is very good to help your deck, you know, 
search and be faster. So, you know, that's pretty much what you want to do. And that's pretty much what everybody wants to do with their ritual decks. I really, really want to play that ritual deck. <laughs> Slower formats are always fun, so you really just want to enjoy it as much as you can. And rituals are not something you can enjoy in the regular Yu-Gi-Oh! too much because they're a little too slow for the game, or they're just not worth it, usually. But, uh, yeah, in Speed Duels, I intend to enjoy it with Relinquished and or whatever else... I can find. We have a skill card, so that's going to be a foil. And catch of the day! If you control the legendary fisherman, you can activate Yumi directly from your deck or graveyard. This skill can only be used once per duel. Once per turn, when the legendary fisherman you control destroys a monster by battle or inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon one level 4 or lower water monster from your deck or graveyard in defense. That is actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. Just a little disappointed that, you know, Legendary Fisherman's a level 5, so you kind of need to figure a way to get it on the field to profit from that. So that's not so bad, I think. Robin Zombie! I mean, you could always use Big Wave, Small Wave. That's also something that could work. Honestly, though, you put, like, any water monster, Big Wave, Small Wave into... Um, legendary Fisherman, use Catch of the Day, get Umi, you have an over 2,000 attack monster on your field, and once you destroy an opponent's monster by battle, or inflict damage to them, you get another monster. So it's not that bad. It's not great, because you used three cards, and you're still, like, at minus one, but it's still interesting. Fisherman Guy, while Umi is on the field, this card is unaffected by spell effects and cannot be targeted by attacks but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Oh, it doesn't even gain attack from Yumi. That's fun. Mask of the Accursed. I don't know if I missed any, but there we have another one. That's cool. Very cool. Very accursed. Moray! Playset. Mask of the Accursed. Playset. That's, that was a decent pack. Wow. Like, Moray of Greed is worth a couple bucks because of its low uh, quantity of printing overall in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and we have another one, nice. Very cool. The water deck will have a lot of searchability stuff in there. Oh, we have a skill card that's gonna be a foil. Mask of the Accursed again, and it's my lucky day! When you activate an effect that would make you roll a six-sided die or dice, or flip a coin, uh, you can pay a thousand life points to decide the result of one of the die or coins. That's actually pretty cool, but it's only once per duel. So I don't know how many cards in this format can actually benefit from this, but, you know, whatever. We have four supers, three ultras, and about five packs left. I haven't seen Spirit Ryu yet, which is kind of weird, but, you know, we'll keep going. We will keep going. Maybe we'll find it. Maybe we won't. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Okay, okay, no wait, I, I exaggerated when I said five. There are five left now. Let's keep going. Let's get that bread. Sword. Let's get that Ryu. I really want to see Ryu. I think it's a foil. I, I'm pretty sure it will be a foil, but let's hope for the best. <sighs> next, 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 next. Always next. Sonic Duck. Huh? It's a duck. Run away, child. Run away. The duck is too fast. Okay, second to last pack. And we got a Mask of the Accursed, at least. That's cool. We have five of those. I think I already had one from my 18-pack opening. So that's kind of cool. Like, both players can have three, which is just going to be a pain in the ass. And we have Apprentice Magician. This is... Okay. I mean... That was not a good box overall, but we did get some stuff I wanted, so I can't complain really. Apprentice Magician is nice. You kind of need three to profit from it at least, but whatever. Uh, Apprentice Magician is something I wanted, so pretty glad about that. Didn't get the Ryu, so can't use Senshi, but still. We have two skill cards as supers. That's okay. We have Zambina, which is a very nice card. So like we have these two good supers and these three random ones. And for our Ultras, we did get 
Exotic Bird, which I really wanted. Blade Knight, which is just a fan favorite old goat format thing. And we also have the Forceful Checkpoint, which is a interesting card. Like it probably is the only attack negating thing in the whole game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, we also got th four Marae of Greeds and a good six max Masks of the Accursed. So that's very decent actually. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vid. Um, probably in the next episode, I guess, of the Speed Duel series, we will have a game. Probably. Yeah, probably a game. And if there is a game, there will be deck profiles video uh, videos coming up soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these little Speed Duel things. And uh, until next time, guys, it has been a pleasure. And Panem, out. Yeah.